Yeah, that's where I am. Um... The thing I wonder though is I'm still poisoned. I mean, if everyone ends up dying, then uh, yeah, I'll just have to start again, make a new stream. Oh my god. Yeah, I think this is the part where um, everyone ends up dying. Clearly. Let's get everyone spread out. Oh, uh, yeah, you were a little bit too close. Good to know. Oh god, Angela, why do you decide to go rogue? Ah. Yeah. Um I'll I'll still need to try and surgeon her up while I'm here. I can still go back to the Citadel, even though they're all poisons. Okay. See you, Tree Man. Thanks for watching. And I really recommend getting it. Good luck in Dota. So, what can I do here? They're all in melee range. So yeah, the thing I'm learning is just I need way better skill at melee range, but I also need to conserve ammo for when they actually get to the exploding part of it. Because I think if I get a full party... Oh my god! If I get a full party wipe here, then I'm going to have to... Um, Nice. I'm I'm just gonna have to redesign the uh, the entire group. I should have walked him away and actually shot. Oh God, woman! There we go. You know what? You know what? I think it's time for her to get some revenge on these dudes. Nah, nah, let's, let's actually just uh, back up. So, yeah, you are very close to death already. There we go. But yeah, that's, that's where you see this. The melee weapons. That is basically it. I, I needed better melee weapons. So Yamato says my first group was terrible. Yeah, that's that's what I'm realizing now. There's so many things I'm seeing now that I'm playing this that I think I need these skills. I need those skills. I need to play it in this way. Now I know what to conserve, what not. It's I mean it's a pity that um, the sniper had to die for me to learn this, but there we go. 13 health, 6 health, 27, 23, 56. It looks like I'm going to be the one to um, bear the brunt of this. Large ring, pocket medic pack. Ooh, there we go. That is useful. I'm thinking... Pot infection. I'm thinking... Um, Angela needs that health, because... She is basically... She is basically right in front. It would be fun to get Rose healed up. But Angela right now is is more useful in melee combat.
get some of that bug shit. Uh, I'm going to save on shooting all these spores because that's... I just want the ammo now. I like the idea of being able to sell that stuff once I'm done with it, but it's just too risky for me right now. Wait, I am disorientated right now. Let me find my bearings. I got in, this is the extra area went into, okay, I got in here, yeah. So I went up, uh, went there, explored this area, looked into that. Wasn't able to look in the safe because I just don't have any of this. Checked out these boxes. There's another safe there. Hi there, Chicksucker. Nice to see you. Thanks for uh, joining in. Okay, this seems to be new. Can't s Yeah, I can't seem to see anything there, so it... It would seem that those two safes are just the thing I need to watch. But again, it's blocked by these... Nothing short of heavy artillery will get through it. Again, blocked by these vines. So Jexus was planning on watching slash participating more, but some stuff came up. Maybe next time. Ah, well, thanks for um, vlogging in and watching uh, in any case, Jexus. And yeah, as you said, maybe one of these days we'll, um, we'll look at um, Payday and stream that a little bit. Look at the left wall close. Wait, what is what is this? Something seems to be buried here. Oh, hello. Uh, how do I do this again? Use the shovel there. Look at the left wall closely. There's an entrance with fungicide. Okay. Energy cell and scrap. So Jack says, definitely streaming some other games with you soon. Cool. And uh, good luck, Jexus. Have I tried using Angela's wrench to smash that? Uh, to to smash the um, the vines, you mean? Uh, we tried it, but it doesn't work. Apparently, you need to very specifically use some kind of sniper rifle to get that open. Mark II, a submachine gun. Ooh, 0.38 cal. That looks pretty cool. Okay, some shotgun ammo for the dock, some 38 for super grand, some energy cells for no one, lots of scrap to sell, some sniper for dead guy, let's get this to super grand. Okay, so that shovel is very important to get. Oh, hello. Ah, thanks for the hint, Simato, that is where I needed to go then. See what we have. So a whole bunch of things. Ryan, Dr. Herbson, this is looks like he didn't reach his weapon in time. What is that? Cross between an industrial sprayer and a flamethrower. It has the word herbicide scratched in the side of it, but the word herba has been hastily painted over with fungus. Nice. Let's grab that. Oh, herbicide, energy weapon, energy cells, 13 available, loads of damage. That looks amazing. You don't sell scrap, it is cash. Oh, scrap is the actual cash, okay. Kind of like uh, bubble caps. 
Ryan Herbison. Herbison's herbicide. Okay, let's see. So I've got this, which is an energy weapon, but I don't think anyone has energy weapon skill. But I assume that this is what we'll have to use to get rid of those vines. Maybe. Let's look on, though. This man smells of booze and sadness. And looks like Keanu Reeves. You ain't Sergio no more. Please don't make me shoot you. Don't make me do what I did to... To... To who? Do it with the Rangers. Oh. Well, that... That was an easy conversation. Dude, you have been here way too long. Okay, you're still people. So what are you doing here? You come to save the day? Well, you're too late. Oh, hi, Dr. Rose. Didn't see you there. Hello, Mrs. Skinner. Let's see. So, Sergio. Who is this Sergio? My son. He was with his mom in the field when everything went insane. I guess he must have caught the sickness somehow, because when he came home with Marta, he, he attacked me just like she did. So glad the blast that, that killed Marta scared him off. I couldn't bear to kill my wife and son on the same day. So you killed that, that woman out there? She must send Sergio right in the fields when the madness started. Guess he came down into the caves to find me. Oh, family right, but I won them no more. Um, so what do you say we came too late? If you come earlier, you wouldn't have to kill my wife. What the hell took you so long? Oh, you know, we had a little detour, killing dogs and toads. You know, the huge. So what are these caves? Experiment with a new breeds of mushrooms and other fungi. Not the cheeriest job in the world, being underground all day, but I like it. Cool and quiet. At least it was until the madness started. So... What about that? Started seeing its mushroom caves about an hour ago. Mushrooms growing out of control, the other guy's getting sick. An hour? Seriously? Then the alarm started going off. I tried to head upstairs to find Marta and Sergio, but Doug from Engineering and a few of the others chased me in here and I tried to tear my face off. And then Marta and Sergio showed up. Found somebody sabotaged us, I'd kill him. So who's that somebody? So again, they point at Sue for this. I was trying to breed weird new plants. Maybe one of the experiments got out of control. Boy named Sue. Oh, that that's um Ah, uh, what's his face again? The guy who sung Ring of Fire. Ah, that singer. The 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 boy named Sue is the song. It's this is gonna eat me up inside. Da. That boy's a strange one, and I don't mean his name. He knew a guy named Moonbat, so Sue don't phase me. Kathy hired him on as a research assistant, but all he does is bitch about the way we do things. Keep saying the plan should be free, that we shouldn't be hoarding them all to ourselves. So basically, poison ivy in male format. If you ask me, he's a fellow behind this mess. He did something to plans to make him tear this place apart and escape into the world. If I see him, I'm going to give him one for Marta and Sergio. Right between the eyes. So what about sabotage, dude? Something might be off in a nutrient mix. Okay. You head off for the irrigation shot of valve, Dr. Larson. I don't think they made it. I can still hear the pumps. So what do you know about Valve? Johnny Cash! Yes, exactly. Johnny Cash, that's his name. With the whole song being about how he was called Sue just so that everyone he'd run into would beat him up over having a girl's name and he'd be really tough because he wouldn't grow up without uh, with his dad. Okay, uh, Lotta said that closing the pump valve will shut down the irrigation system. Maybe keep the infestation from getting worse. It's been going way too long. Who's this Larson then? Oh, the dock we needed to find. Okay. Yeah, sure, okay, so fun guy. He's gonna help fellas to help shut down the pumps while they've been hiding. Makes me ashamed. Doesn't even own a gun. Hope he's still alive. <laughs> Thanks, Chicksucker. Why are you hiding? 
Oh, that's a bit of a stupid question. There's just giant things murdering everyone. Uh, Thanos, there should be a little bit of background, like thematic things you should hear. Like, um... Well, right now it's like bells and sort of an eerie sound music. Let's see, so about these pumps, because I still need to find these. So yeah, this is for the main quest, the merchant who saw Ace die. Apparently Skinner knows something about that guy. Sammy Hayes, the snake squeezer man. He was there when Ace was attacked. Don't know how much I'd get out of him. He was so scared when he told me he hardly understood what he was saying. So who is this Sammy dude? He'll be in Rail Nomad. That's where he stocks up in snake squeezing before he makes his round. And that, from what I understand, is like snake venom to drink? Most delicious thing you'll ever taste, and really takes the edge of, well, everything. So this general attack, I couldn't get much sense. All I know is that someone or something attacked him, and Ace fought it and died. You want more details, you get him from Sammy. Sounds good. Now the usual background. Happy about Rageous Ghost. Fine, you can go back to the lobby, dude. Don't want to see any ghosts. What do you mean by ghosts? Seriously, there's ghosts now? Oh, you killed a woman? Yeah, I killed my own wife. Sob, sob, sob. Yeah, we heard that one. Enjoy, dude. If you're going heading out, would you mind me coming with you? Talking to you has made me feel ashamed to be hiding when there's work to be done. Can I follow you? Yes, absolutely. Follow me around, dude. Particularly if you can kick some ass. Okay. Street of the Ag Center and some cash. Let's make sure that doesn't hold a hidden clue, though. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is Vargas. General Vargas, who was here as well. So let's see. Vegetable spirit, carnivorous strawberry. This is really weird. Yeah, I'm gonna skip that a little bit. Sprayer tanks are fungicide. Do not ingest. Dense in nature, these tanks look to contain the very last drop of fungicide. Just what Dr. Larson ordered. Ah, so that is the stuff I need to bring back to top okay hopefully that will allow us to heal up necklace and 12 gauge good and more computer gaming worlds and pocket medic bag perfect that will allow us to this needs to get to the dock we'll give that to bear who can then heal up the dock because it's just too dangerous to have her walking around with such low hit points now the thing I wonder though is bash that open there we go Okay, so that's bombed, that's bombed. Great. High-tech electronic system, good. She might be able to... Simple lock, perfect. Computer science, that biatch. M14 assault rifle. And all the ammo we need. Finally, some ammo again. Can of tuna and deck of cards, general sales stuff. Just want to check now, since he's got so much. Wait, that is encumbered, yeah. Okay, let's get some of these guns over. This sniper rifle I can't use. It's M1, let's see. Yeah, so the... 
Oh, we can actually modify this. That is cool. Magazine scope. Barrels. That is actually really cool. And strip them for parts. But let's see. 7 to 13. Oh, this is the same actual rifle. Fine. Means I'll switch these around with him. And uh, I've got 50 ammo now. So let's give him about half of that. That way I've got two people with good sniper ri um, good assault rifle. She's in full ammo. She's the only one then that needs um, a better weapon really. 6 to 12 for the M1. Uh, yeah, and I just have some sniper rifles. Fine, we'll, uh, we'll keep it at this. Now Angela in the meantime can trigger these bombs. Well, that wasn't worth it. And this one's outright locked. Great, that wasn't worth it at all. Uh, fine, let's just run up, get that guy back. Oh, I'm still encumbered, actually. Um, I like the fact that I've got a energy weapon now, but, um... Two pounds, two pounds, two pounds. There we go, spread the love around. Let's just get back, because Angela's already nearly dead as well. Tip, almost everything in this game has multiple ways to do so, so don't give up after trying the first thing, e.g. lock doors and containers or safes. A case an example you could use brute force to open it. Oh, okay, let's let's give that a try then. Oh hey, nice, the dock leveled up. Yeah, I suppose I'm a little bit too skittish now, considering I lost to one of my team in there. I actually can't use brute force to open this, apparently. Okay, let's just uh, level her up. This is Rachel. Yeah, congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Oh, it's it's absolutely good. So I can appreciate any help here, uh, Chuck Zaka. Five skill point for Rose, so I like the fact that she's got computer science. Um, it's coming handy right now. The surgeon might be useful as well, but the four skill points is really pricey. I do have explosives actually. That might be a good one to check. Um. Let's see. I'm actually fine with her having some handguns. Oh, that's always good, Chuxaka, because this is literally the first playthrough I'm, I'm doing of this. I... You know, I've played these types of games a lot, but it's always something to learn. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going for bladed weapons. Well, no, I should just leave her out, really. Um, God, plus no, plus thirty nine base to hit. I think it's worth it. I'm going for the bladed weapon. Done. Because the thing I've just been been discovering is that it is too just. It is so needed to actually get something done. Can I just attack it? You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. I could just literally attack it. 
Wait, did I just see something blink there? Or was that my uh, imagination? That was my imagination. Um... What I'm thinking right now is this is just called herbicide, but I think that's just... I think that's just a fun name, but let's go and give it a try on those... Um, that barrier we encountered earlier. Just so that we know whether or not it can open that up. Out of ammo. Oh, right, that is all carried by this guy. There we go. Uh, you. Ineffective. Damn. Okay. Um, yeah, for now, I just really want to go back and just go back and get healed up. Because this is just way too dangerous. Poor guy. This is where I wish it was Baldur's Gate when I could just get a resurrect scroll. Oh, hi, Anchor Tales. You can use space bar to group your team, then it will all move together. Oh, that's useful. Bashing boxes waste loot most of the time. Yeah. Try a blade. I, I tried a blade of weapon, uh, Chuxaka, but it, it um, didn't have the... Apparently, it was ineffective. It didn't have the actual damage to kill it. You found another item for these plants five minutes ago. Maybe don't work either. Yeah, the, the fungicide, Thanos, but... Um, I'm thinking I want to see if I can hand that in first to uh, what you might call it, Kathy, because I think that might be necessary to actually solve the quest. So, have you found the fungicide yet? Matt is deteriorating rapidly. Yep, I found it. Thank God, you're just in time. Give it to me and wait right here. Matt, your case is very acute. I'm going to have to inject a high concentration dose directly into your veins. Because that always goes well. Shut up and give me your arm. Why, is, why don't I hear him anymore? Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Recruits. Gonna need some more time on the sidelines, but I think, I think I'm gonna make it. Thank you, Rangers. If you have a sec, I have one more request for you. You'll be especially interested if any of you caught the infection. Oh, yeah, why not? Okay, let's let's do some of this supply work again. So firstly, all the junk for 200. And oh god, do I need the medic bags. Let's get um, just two of these trauma kits. Requires five strength. I don't... I think I might enjoy a little bit of armor. For the rest, I'm not modifying anything yet. Pain relievers might be worth it. Wow, they're expensive. 12 points of con compared to... Okay, Medic medic is a whole lot more powerful by the look of it. Anti-venom, shovel. Yeah, I think this is good. I just need to get some health up for everyone. And I'll save it on the armor for now because I'm just... I'm not sure yet. I want to make sure that I have enough to uh, keep being able to heal everyone up. There we go. I'll just heal her up for the basics so far. Let's 
get her a little bit more healed up just to be safe. God, what time is it anyway? Okay, let's see what Kathy has to say. Thank you, Rangers. Matt would have died without you, not to mention the rest of us. But there's one last thing to be done. Get the cure into the fertilizer reservoir. Before you can do that, you'll need to finish shutting down the irrigation system. Come back here when you've done that. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I've actually already found the radio dish in the West Greenhouse, yep. Yeah. And Larson is excellent. Here okay, around, standard stuff. Okay, let's see. So we're still on reactivate the satellite dish. No worries. But this is what we need to do. Shut down the irrigation systems in the east and west fields to halt the progress of contamination. Both fields can be reached through a basement, which is accessed from a room at the north end of the complex. Okay, that's why we need to go in the fields. Shut down the irrigation. So rescue that will help that. Well, that that'll happen while we're playing through this. Once we shut down the irrigation system, we can put the cure in the reservoir. Fine. So that means we need to go back in there. Just know to keep in mind when you level up a PC, they are also healed. Yeah, we. Uh, thanks, Chuck. Fortunately, we um, had some luck in that with, for example, the dock. Except for a call, yeah, she's she's 700 XP away from being uh, being healed. <coughs> wow. Okay, so we need to head back through and go to those fields. Oh, right, I forgot, of course. I need to open these up. Uh, there we go. Let's just go... Let's go east first. I am still ticked off that I lost one of the team. God, I... Ah... Uh. I, I knew the risk. I knew the fact that that dude would explode if I'd shoot him. And now I've got that corpse lying over there. Could have been avoided so easily. Okay, let's have another look. As she said, uh, use a bladed weapon. Oh, oh shit. That was a waste. So yeah, that's ineffective. Nothing short of heavy artillery will get through it. I just mentioned because the combat then healed everyone and level up, so I wasted my medkits. Yeah, actually, if you look through the archive to the previous stream, which was all the way up until the Ag Center, I did exactly that. And Yamato was just screaming at me, going like, no, level up, level up. Uh, and there I was, wasting all my med kits. Rangers, you're going into the outer fields now. I'm afraid our camera coverage is a lot spottier out there, so I won't be able to help as much. Good luck. You're in the east field now. It's filled with staple crops, so watch out for those pods. Get to the far end, through the animal pens, and you'll find the irrigation room. Close down the primary valve to cut the flow. You need that sniper rifle to destroy vines. Ah. Uh, through the animal pens. Seriously? I'm gonna have to go through animal pens now. The thing I'm wondering, by the way, is I'm getting these, these metal chest plates, these clothings. Okay, so it's basically chest for show. Oh, uh, yeah. In that case, I'll wear a leather coat, because, come on, it looks awesome. So how about these cargo pants? Yeah, fine. 
Have I turned on autosave? Um, don't think I have, no. But good thing to remind me, let's quick save. Sorry, girl, feed and house her animals. Very few remain alive, I fear. Yeah, except for the maggots. You can hear things moving through the undergrowth. Oh, God. Mutant seeds in a pigeon feed. Could have flown anywhere by now. Oh, God. I find where Sue went. Oh, God, they're literally just exploding. What is this? You have to find out where Sue sent them. His house in Westfield. We'll likely find him there if he's still alive. Yep, I'll gather up some pigeon shit. I have no shame. You set the autosave for 50 minutes. That way maybe you could have saved your sniper without having to go too far backwards. Who? Yeah, I suppose so. Though I'll also, I also kind of like the um, the idea of just living with the choices you've made. As in, I played badly. I make, I made a wrong decision, so I've lost my sniper because I knew better. Wait, actually, there was that button. There we go. Uh, how about everyone crouch down for now? Actually, you need that. Don't sell it. The pigeon crap? Seriously? I need pigeon crap? This game is just getting weirder and weirder. And trade it with a guy in the Citadel. Seriously, how are you supposed to anticipate that you need pigeon crap? Yeah, okay, I should have just shot the worm there. Oh god. No spoilers, but yes. Okay. Good to know, because that is typically some of the, the type of stuff that you'd sell. Not just pigeon shit, but all kinds of shit. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Good, no bombs. Oh, another one of them old navy revolvers. He makes explosive out of his, and you'll need a lot of explosives. Okay. Thanks, Yamato. Yeah, I, I suture kit. Oh, that's useful. That actually, uh, if I recall correctly, that's supposed to be a true thing. That, um some animal poop just contains certain chemicals that you can use to make explosives. So I think this is one of those I just hang around and wait for him to explode. Oh god, that's awful. Okay, so same thing, let's spread out. Crouch down. There we go, let's get that shit done. Don't forget about grouping your team, that way they move together when you click reload, they all reload. 
Yeah, that's, that's something I actually... I, I wish they'd made that easier, the whole grouping-ungrouping thing. By the way, Yamato, you were so right about the... Um, about the weapon skill. Because right now they're hitting so much more than before. Ah, oh, shit. I wanted to get away before that happened. Oh, Ryan? I got this, absolutely. F button groups, everyone. That's out of range, huh? Okay. How about you just move forward? And of course, Rogue goes nuts. And just stands in front of a maggot to suicide. I'm getting real tired. Oh shit, Rose. Yeah, actually, uh, headshot is F, apparently. So, space is, is group everyone. Okay, so... Hi there, Ryan. Ruddy and babyface, this terrified researcher stands amidst a pile of animal corpses, seemingly shell-shocked. He clutches a wallow foot, uh, wallet photograph of a woman. Must be the rangers. Matt said we're coming. I'm Ryan. I work for Dr. Larson in Infirmary. Thanks for saving me. Is it is it safe to leave? So where is this Dr. Larson? So knowledgeable. His advanced in fungal-based cures are going to change the world. I'm sure of it. Have you looked around, dude? This is a hellhole. It's really been a great experience learning from him. I just hope he's alright. So I'm heading into the worst part of the orchard. Go to help the men who close the irrigation valve. So brave. Feels nice when you people succeed with shooting, doesn't it? So much so, Yamato. Dear God, what a... I'm, part of me is now hoping that they all die so I can start over, because now I know what to make in a character. Can you use the grouping stands that I can add lower left as well? Yeah, good point. So, Matt was on the PA system as soon as all this madness started, letting us know you're on our way. Now it's still broadcasting. I hope everything's alright. Eh, you'll be fine. Didn't notice it until Dr. Larson came running up from the caves. He told me to stay in the infirmary, but I ran out to look for Rachel, my... My friend. Yeah, sure. Seen her, I couldn't find her, and I, then I got chased in here. Um... I, I don't know what happened to Rachel, actually. Was it? My first time through was a disaster. <laughs> Absolutely, Chuck. This is... I, I had no idea what I was doing, screwing up so much. I don't know what happened to Rachel, so... Um, at least I don't remember. Let's just say she's dead. Yeah, other options. Yeah, you know what? Angela Death can do this. She's dead. I believe it. It's, it's not right. I'm sorry. I just I need to be alone. I need to fade my out. So just just go. <laughs> Look at that. Just now he was inconsolable. Then I speak to him again. It's like, what up, Rangers? Ah, uh, so what goes on in the mushroom caves? Well, what happens in the mushroom caves stays in the mushroom caves. 
you think about the Rangers, you save the day again. You guys are the best. I've got to reopen the infirmary. Absolutely. See you back in the lobby. As long as you can heal us, dude, we'll be fine. Now, get out, because there's something that'll explode here. A medicine pouch. Well, it's junk. Sniper should be good at sniping and nothing else. You need to be able to get 80% headshots ASAP. Yeah, so far I've, I've used the uh, the standard uh, characters. Ooh, skill points. Admiring the statue fills your party with a sense of purpose. Everyone gets an extra skill point. Thanks. But yeah, I've, I've used the, uh, the standard characters and I now see that you know, because I didn't know what to do, but I think uh, if these guys die, then the next... Wait, is he? Oh! Ah, he'll be fine. Ah, uh, chill. The, the next stream, I think, if, if everyone would die, will just be character creation, because I need to figure out how to make a better group. So Chuck has over 220 hours in this game, and I've done five full playthroughs for the first half, and that was all in the early access version. That doesn't surprise me in the least, to be honest. It's just so much to do, it is ridiculous. Actually, let's heal up our tank here. Yeah, I, I can also see a whole lot of replay value in this game so far, because just like all those all those safes where I think if I had a skill, I could open that. Oh, oh, I'm screwing up here. Okay, battle formations, guys. Spread out. There we go. Everybody duck. And shoot. God, Angela, why the hell do you have to go rogue all the time? You suck ass. But I don't know if leadership is worth it, to be honest. Really? 75% and you can't hit anything? You blind woman. Oh yeah, that that doesn't seem like a good thing to use. Bam! Hint, there's a skill that will stop that. Yeah, I, I had leadership on my, my main guy, actually. But it's only level 2, so it's uh, it, it doesn't really help me that much yet. Yeah, suck it. How do you like the machetes now? Oh god, Angela, you suck. Wait, why is your to hit so low? Ah, to be honest, you should be able to punch him to death. Just do it. Come on, it's a giant maggot. Ah, fine, let's um, actually. So you matter, there's more. You already do realize that Hypel is dead. That will influence the whole game greatly. There are more game-breaking choices further on. That is actually what I always liked about um, the the Fallout-type games. I mean, it was in it was in the first wasteland, but in Fallout-type games in general as well, where just the absolute choices you make to destroy different areas. It was the same in um, what was it? In the first Fallout, when you had Junktown, 
Now you can actually choose between um, Gizmo and... Oh, what's the other guy's name again? It was played by Richard Dean Anderson, or at least voiced by Richard Dean Anderson. But that was a great scene there, where you, where you had to choose between the um, the crime lord Gizmo and the... the um, failure? Really? The, the crime lord Gizmo and the, um, the sort of sheriff type character. Fun fact was actually... Uh, the normal ending displayed it as purely black and white. Help the good sheriff character, Junkdown prospers. Help Gizmo the crime lord, and Junkdown eventually uh, fails. So bomb, bomb, bomb. Great. But the original ending, which was cut out because the producers didn't like it, actually made it so that if you help the crime boss, yeah, okay, the, the actual... Uh, the actual village would be crap at first because it was built on a crime, but it would bring so much money in the form of a casino town that in the long run it actually prospered. Ooh, that's useful. But again, the uh, the producers apparently didn't like that um, that system, so they wanted it to be morally unambiguous. Help the good guy, good things will happen. Chuck says, did you know that Fallout was going to be Wasteland 2, but they couldn't get the right, so we got Fallout. Absolutely. Because I followed those games just early on. I just... Wasteland blew my mind when it came out. Just the idea of the game, the, the, the whole open world system, it was amazing. And I was so excited when Fallout came out. That was just beautiful. And you can you can hear it as well. Just that um, how much uh, Fallout actually refers back to Wasteland. Just in all the small hints uh, and things, and as well uh, Wasteland Two. Now, some of the music assets of this are pretty much directly from Fallout. Oh god, I don't like the sound of that. Damn rabbits. Oh god! Oh god, that's way too many rabbits. I am not a fan of that. You've been playing from the very beginning too? Ah. Uh, they are amazing. They are just amazing. And I get the hipster experience a lot, where Fallout 3 came out, so I recommended it to people, like, you have to play this game. And people were like, eh, yeah, I don't know, it doesn't look like my kind of thing. Eh. And then later on they approach me and say, have you played this game called Fallout 3? And I think, Sh just shut up. Electronic lock, hello. Eh, let's give, go for it. So the only thing Yamato doesn't like about Wasteland 2 is no super mutants. <laughs> well, that is that is very much a, a Fallout thing. I liked how they sort of... Ooh. Extra water carry and extra carry weight. Oh, let's give that to you. I like how they, um, they made that a little bit more specific. Just a little bit more unique for, um, for Fallout. Let's get that to you, yep. Best in pauldrons, sure, let's get that to somebody. Okay, so, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go up here anyway. Oh god. Damn these rabbits. It's a good time filler while we wait for Fallout 4. Yeah. 
Actually, everybody reloads. Oh god. These things are awful. Oh god, this is just like the rats in the starting cave of Fallout 1, where they just kick your ass. Fallout 3 was a filler before something like Wasteland. I, I don't know, I mean, it was very much different. It, was, it had a whole lot more humor than the original Fallout did. Which I didn't, I, I kind of like the post-apocalyptic terror kind of feeling. So that was a little bit less, but... I like the the immersion that you get from Fallout uh, 3. Oh shit, I am I am so dead. I am so dead. I should have thrown like an explosive in there. Oh, hey, they're actually a whole lot weaker than I remember. Oh, I don't have anything for that. Okay. Oh, God, of course she's out of control again. God, yeah, the initial crouch means I can't really move that far. Those damn rabbits have way too many action points. Absolutely. This is just ridiculous. Now we're all just surrounded. Looks like the machete is really the best thing I can use right now. Oh god, yeah, I should have, I should have, I realized now, I should have spread them all out so that I could get a crossfire going, so that when one person is under attack, at least you can hit somebody else, because right now they're just under pressure. Everybody's pressured down. Thirty percent of his chance is just terrible, and yeah, with your fist is horrible as well. Yeah, let's go for kills. I need to get these dudes down as quickly as possible. Oh yes, miss shotgun. Is there any way you can hit as many of them? Two shots, huh? Fine, let's do this one. Really? You, you miss? Because I figured at least, you know, I could shoot twice if I got from here, but fine. Whoa, oh god. Mending. Oh, that is a useful skill. Did you know you can move anywhere in the blue area and still fire your weapon? Yeah, that's that's why I made my character with just the most action points I could get, because just that pure range. This thing I was hoping to avoid. Let's see, with seven... I was hoping to get more shots off, but now I know that if I can, if I'm going to get ammo. Oh! I wasn't thinking. Ah, oh, that was so dumb. 40% was way too low to actually take a shot. I was just, I was basically hoping to, um.
to make sure I could get as many down as I could while I was around. Oh god, so both of these have the actual medic skill, so it's only Rose that has the surgeon skill left. Yep, damn friendly fire. Oh god, she's up again. That is amazing. So it's only the one who can still survive for quite a long while, actually. She can actually hit both rabbits. Let's see. But I don't think I, there's any way I can shoot at them without killing myself. Really? Weapon jam? Oh, this is the most unreliable weapon around. And bear men's. Oh, so much luck. So much luck. Why is this 0%? God. Let's move back since I can't shoot. Anyway, might as well. from that end. Nicely done, Angela. Nicely done. So how much luck would I need for an extra mend? Of course you go rogue. There we go. Come on, I just need to... 41, really. Oh, of course it's friendly fire, dear God. Ah, uh, I just need these dudes down so that I can heal someone. Seldorovs have a better chance to hit with a little distance, yeah. Whereas the, the guns I've noticed are just perfect to be short range weapons. There we go. Okay. Time to get some surgery done. Oh wait, I only have one basic trauma kit, don't I? I probably will. Add one person up. Tell me I have another trauma kit. Tell me I have another trauma kit somewhere. Moves a bleeding effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to fix that. Anti-venom basic trauma kit. Yes, trauma kit. I knew I had more trauma kits. Come on, get them up, get them up. I may get my wishes start over, yeah. <sighs> Dear God. Okay, basically everyone needs a heal by now. I don't dare wait for a level up. But yeah, exactly, Chuck. This is... Uh... I love how difficult this game is, though, because in Fallout 3... You just got dozens and dozens of stim packs. There was no challenge whatsoever. Uh, to be honest, Fallout 1 and 2 as well, I hardly ever died. There was just no danger of it. But with this, this is old school difficult again, and I love that. Okay, let's get all of this shit, cause... God. So, cow shit. All of the shit I basically need to save, right? Okay. Actually, I, I found a lucky rabbit's foot uh, somewhere earlier down the line. 
Rabbit's tail. Yeah, there we go. Second rabbit's foot. So let's see. Um, who do I want more lucky? I want the dog to be more lucky. What? Oh! Seriously? Explosive poo? Are you kidding me? Wait, what, what does that say? What? Is that... Don't... Trust... Don't trust? That seems a little bit vague. Sign above the door says irrigation control. From inside you hear the low hum of insects and the muffled moans of men and women dying. Smothering both sounds, a thunderous torrent of water rushes through massive pipes. Look at this body, you notice that. Contrary to your expectation, he hasn't been stung to death. He died of gunshot wounds. Holy shit. That man oh, you need to equip that item? Really? Equip. Oh, it's a trinket. Oh. Hey, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the suggestion. I've been carrying it around for nothing. Oh, yeah, the suspense is building. Oh, my God. Just this. What is going on here? Medic pack and trauma kit. Perfect. I think that's also why I actually uh, try to work without autosaves or going back when somebody dies. Unless it's like a crappy thing or something I should have known. Um, because this way it's actually just a story of... Oh god, that's gross. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm way down. Uh, let's get that metal chest plate to somebody else. Still way down by... Oh, cow shit. <laughs> bullshit, man, it's all bullshit. Wait, I just gave him a bunch. But read that, man. A cloud of giant insect buzzed noisily around the Eastfield Irrigation Shuttle Valve, attacking something in the midst. Half a dozen bodies already lie on the ground, bleeding into the soft loam of the field. But there's still someone alive. You can hear them screaming. Oh my god, this is awful! Oh god, it's Larson! A backpack trinkets. Oh, yeah, yeah. Army issue backpack. Equip. And I have an extra large pack. So that should give me Super Mega Ultra Pack. More room. And this one can then go to Super Granny. But yeah, as, as I was just saying, um, that is why I also like to just live with my live with the consequences because um, it means that everything gets a little bit more weight, a little bit more value in my opinion. Because then when somebody dies, then I suddenly realize I just learned that I need to spread out for my guns to be more useful to everyone. But yeah, uh, because then it gets a lot more weight since I know that things could have ended so much more differently or that if I'd known something sooner, it would have changed everything. Get a new recruit back at the Citadel. Need to give my characters if they do end up dying. Hmm. 
Oh, of course you had to end up right there, didn't you? Let's see, control. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move. But seriously, the only place I can move is actually... Ah, uh, that is cheesy. Okay, let's hope that I can move here and then shoot you without... Yeah, I didn't figure... Didn't figure that was a possibility. Fine, fine. Machete time. See, bear, and then it's that maggot, that maggot, and then it's super granny. Super granny is a lot better shooting at close distance, so let's shoot the maggot from here. So Anchor uh, So Chuck says, not talking about Wasteland the Fallout crossover. That uh, your companion Widow O'Neill is a hat tip to Fallout and Richard Dean Anderson's character. Oh yeah, you're right. I completely forgot that he was he, he talks about like a wife, I think, that he lost. Not sure how it works or if you can completely make a new one, but the trainees say if someone dies in your crew they can apparently join you. That is actually cool. I, I assume that it's like a pre-made character that you have to choose, but... You know, the one I lost was a pre-made anyway. I'm suddenly wondering whether those characters are actually the pre-mates that you didn't choose or that you didn't take. Yeah, to be honest, I've always been in favor of sort of hardcore rules, if you will. Where you, if you lose a character, you just lose a character. And um, even when it's with like tabletop RPGs, I enjoy that. Because it's just, I enjoy the sense of realism and, and pressure that it brings. There we go. To loss and what happened? You're the only one left alive. Wait, how did these men die? Oh my god, you shot them, didn't you? You son of a bitch. Also plays on the old Stargate. Absolutely. I actually, when I first played Fallout 1, I didn't know Richard Dean Anderson at all. And when I when I watched Stargate for the first time, the series, he he sort of sounded familiar. And then when I played Fallout again, it was like, oh my god, that is Richard Dean Anderson. Ooh, level up, school. Copy, Echo One. This is Echo One. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done Thank you for the level ups. Let's get that done. Let's see. Assault rifles, yeah, I've, I've, you are absolutely right. Just the amount of awesome that gets you. Let's see, Rose has still two points. So let's get you on handguns. Just those guns work out. Okay, let's try and figure this out. Look at the bodies. She knows a contrary to expedition, they have been stung to death. They all died of gunshot wounds. I knew it! That son of a bitch, Larson! Man lies near the irrigation shut off valve, broken, bleeding, and dying. The field medic at his side. He's been torn to shreds by the insects. Indeed, with such wounds, it seems impossible that he's alive. And he looks up to you with hope in his eyes. All of these were shot, you son of a bitch, Larson! Agree with the whole permadeath thing, except when it is because I did something stupid. Yeah, check that. Exactly that. Or when I think something's just completely unfair, like uh, when I shouldn't, I couldn't have expected that, or it's a bug, or whatever. 
Okay, Patrick Larson. Seriously, there's no way this guy should be alive. There's more blood outside of him than inside. Don't know what's keeping him conscious. Look at that shifty asshole. Hello, Rose. Glad to see you made it. You too, Dr. Larson. We're even more dire straits without you. Oh, I'm a survivor, Rose. Hard to get rid of me. I'm getting such a Walking Dead feeling off of this. Uh, you are Rangers, aren't you? Of course you are. I'd recognize those stars anywhere. Then please talk to me before you try to turn off the irrigation shutoff valve. There are steps you must take. I want to talk about these gunshot wounds. But first, let's, let's talk about the rest. Wounds look pretty bad. Can we help? Don't worry about me. I'm enough of a doctor to know I'm too far gone to save. Just gather around so I can tell you about the valve. So what's so difficult about this valve? It's been tampered with. Someone tried to saw through it. Probably the same person who put the mutagen in it. The one that's changing the plants and insects. If we can shut it down, well, it won't end the crisis. But you may not be able to turn it. You have to blow it up. Oh, that sounds like bullshit. That sounds like downright bullshit. If the mutagen was in the water, how, how did it affect the insects? I don't know. It shouldn't have any effect. I'm... I'm sorry, I'm finding it difficult to talk now. Please, close the valve. So, what caused this crisis? It must be a saboteur. Someone put something in the irrigation water. Terrible havoc. Glad somebody called rangers kill two birds with one stone. Uh, smartass. Somebody had smartass level two. Hardass level three. Oh, no, that was the sniper who had smartass level two. Shit. So, uh, what do you think of the Desert Ranger, man? Thank you for coming so quickly. Ag Center will be lost without you. So, uh, about Ag Center, while you're bleeding here. We were the main food producer for most of Arizona. It may take us a while to recover from this. So many will suffer. So it seems you've lost a lot of blood. I know, too much. That's why you need to forget me and close the valve. Smartass level four, damn it. Rangers don't forget about people in need, man. No, no, please, I'm I'm too far gone. So, what's your name, by the way? I'm Dr. Patrick Lott, and I run... Ha, I ran the infirmary here. Looks like they're going to have to find a replacement. What the... Come on, man. Did it, you sound like Captain Kirk. So, who are these people? Rumors and researchers. Uh, farmers and researchers. We all came to try and shut off the valve. I came because I knew the others would need first aid. They, they're beyond that now. I, I failed in everything. So, um, by the way, about those gunshot wounds, dick. You noticed those, did you? Well, um, I can explain. I came here to wreck the valve so nobody could close it again, but those fools caught me before I could finish, so I shut them. Sadly, the gunshots attracted the bugs and they tore me apart. Guess I won't be able to destroy Ag Center like I wanted. I knew it, you son of a bitch! What? No, oh, this can't be true! Why? Why destroy it? Because I knew it would bring the rangers. And that I could destroy them! I fucking knew it, you son of a bitch! Enough! Death to the rangers! Death to the rangers, Citadel! Wait, wait, wait. Did you did you see that? I had them all perfectly set up and now they reorganize. Oh my god! How many action points do you have? Wait, oh! Fuck, I shouldn't have clicked enter and damn it. I just wanted to basically check. Oh my god! How often does he go? What the hell? What the hell? Uh, wait, so it's bear next. Okay, he can get the dock up. He's inside range, so I should move back one go. 
and shoot him twice. And next turn I should crouch down and see if I could shoot him again. Oh my god, this dude is ridiculous. He has an impossible amount of, of just damn... Jeez. Okay, so two action points, he's inside. Let's crouch down and shoot him twice. God, look at his hit points. Um, yeah, I, I need this dude to surgeon up the dock. Wait, seriously? Oh God. I gave them all to the dock. Okay, just grab one of these, okay. And um, how much does that cost? No action points? Okay, so I can get one shot off. No, you know what? I'm gonna go back here and then surgeon up the dock. Oh, it costs four, okay. Um, how many hit points do you have? 33? So how about you close on in and shoot this fucker. Oh my god. He has a ridiculous amount of damn action points. Let alone hit points. Oh my god. Well, um... Character creation it is. There's... Yeah, there's, there's just... I don't even have the... Oh! <laughs> oh god. I, I don't even have the trauma kits to get these people back up. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Look at the blood! Look at all the blood. Look, woman, I, I can hear you blabbing in the background, but I don't have the time for you right now. Where's, where's all the extra? Okay, so he's got one trauma kit. Let's use that to heal the dog. Let's see. Oh, God. Oh no, I should have healed that dude. No! Oh! Oh, God, no! No, no, heal! Just do anything! Just. Oh! Fuck! Paolo has died and will always be remembered. This is the most. Ah, no items! How can I. What can I do? do you... Please tell me you have trauma kits. Pocket medic pack. Nudie magazine? Dusty wine bottle. Oh my god, midnight special. Two action points, that explains it. Oh god, somewhere, someone should have like something. You can make it with one ranger left. Oh no. Oh no. Angela Death? Oh my god! That woman is amazing! That woman is amazing. <sighs> okay, I, I need to get you up for one. And, and, um, oh god, I need to get myself up one. Oh god. Oh god. Just distribute all of it. I'm oh god. Is 
is oh yeah distribute all of that I'm I'm fine just distribute I, I don't think there's anything I can do just heal the dark ah oh, damn it just look at the amount of blood here just everyone dying all over Comatosa. Revive with a surgeon skill. If only I had something. Super Granny, you have been amazing for us. Ah, uh, balls! Yeah, there's nothing else I can find here, right? It's just no chest, no something. Not within five seconds. Ah, Widow O'Neill has died and will always be remembered. Distribute all. And of course everyone's encumbered now, why not? Okay, so while we're all dying, what was that message? We can't dwell on that, really? We can't dwell on the fact that just two people died here just now? On the blazes with that, he betrayed us. Can't dwell on that. You've got plenty to do. First, close the valve on the wall behind you, then head back to the basement and use the computer to open the airlock to the west ventilation tunnel. Compress in that field of firing out of control. Find some way to regulate the general running the irrigation pump. It might actually get this thing under control. And it only cost a couple of lives. Pull hard and close the valve until no more contaminated fluid runs through. Just a whole bunch of water. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, dear God, I, I think I think I'm gonna save it here. This has been uh This has been just too much, my god. I'm um I'm gonna call it here. I'm just gonna recoup my losses and and see what I can do with this. Dear God. Uh, I, so the next time, I think we're going to continue with this this group of three that we have over here. See where we can get going with them. Um, see if we can make it through. At the very least, my, my own character died now. So it's it's just the, it's the one pre-made. And is this a character that's mine now? Yeah, so this one's mine. And we'll just have to see how we can go from there. Oh, God. <laughs> what an ending. So thank you very much for uh, for, for watching. And I think, uh, yeah, as, as Iman asked, I'll, I'll see if I can actually get some more streaming going. Um, I also have a YouTube channel. It's under the same name, Byronic Gamer. I'll, um, I'll actually try and get some of the highlights going. So this moment of the people dying, <laughs> I think this is definitely going on the YouTube channel. Uh, I've also processed the video of the last one, so I'll see if I can edit that one up and get some of the highlights going. At the very least, sort of the important deaths, I think, and the important uh, gatherings. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching and for channeling along in the screen. And, uh, God, I, I, think, <laughs> I think somewhere in the middle of the week we're going to have to continue the failings. Oh, uh, thank you very much, Chuck, uh, for for saying that. Uh, I'm I'm hoping to keep this going and and make this into a regular thing. Oh, God, <laughs> this was terrible. Okay, thank you, and and I'll see you somewhere in the week. <laughs>